everyone. I'm Vaughn with Spirit of Hell. I saw a lot of you yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's cool. So welcome back. So if you don't know Jana, Jana's with doTERRA. We're going to be talking about essential oils today. Today's winter wellness. It's a make it, take it. Mm-hmm. Um, are we going to we going to do the thing about talking about different conditions and things, or mm-hmm. is it going to be in this class? Too? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So yeah, we might do a little section on you can talk about maybe some ailments and issues mm-hmm. you're having and what oils are best for that. So that'll be fun too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've uh, been a naturopath for I don't know how many years now, eight, ten, something like that, and I've started Spirit of Health about that long ago. Been in this location not quite. It'll be four years actually in March. We've been very blessed with this place, although we've outgrown it already. Mm. So we're praying for what's next. Uh, But I've always known about essential oils. I love essential oils. I love anything that's God's medicine that can be used so that we don't need as much, at least, the things (coughs) or the ways or the medicine of man. Mm -hmm. And we can use the things of God that he gave us that was the original intention from the beginning. Even over our bulk herb section, it says God's weeds. Mm -hmm. Because Ralph Waldo Emerson said, a weed is but a plant whose virtues have yet to be discovered. Mm-hmm. Right? That's good. So anyway, I love all of God's plants, and I love the power of essential oils, and I love the, the knowledge that Jana brings. I recorded the classes yesterday. I would, we have a YouTube channel. I would encourage you to watch those, because like, I was like, I, like, I was really blown away, especially that second one on the healing oils of the Bible. It yeah. was really, you were here, it was really good. It was really, really, really good. The way she talked about the oils and the origin of the words tied back to Hebrew and really tied to Jesus and mm-hmm. what he did for us, because we know the whole Bible speaks of Jesus, Old and New Testament. And so that was just really powerful That's for me. Cool. So thank you for bringing that. So yeah, I just I really appreciate what Jana offers and just ask you to hopefully enjoy the class today. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Vaughn, and thank you, Jennifer. That's his lovely wife. <laughs> if you are local, she's got awesome classes in this room. Uh, Pilates, maybe some other whole body classes, right? Pilates, bar. Yeah. Bar? Okay, anything else? Mm-hmm. Like for mamas and, I don't know, pregnant mamas? Prenatal. Prenatal. So spread the word, because I, if I lived here, I would totally be in this room exercising. Where I live, they don't have Pilates for some reason. So I have to go become an instructor, I guess, so I can have Pilates where I live. So yes, um, my name is Jana. My husband, Matthew, is doing the amazing job of watching our little kitties right now. They're here with us. Um, We have been in doTERRA for about five years. Um, and thank, thank you once again, like I said, it, it is an honor to be here. I don't take it lightly. Um, I pursued uh, Vaughn for about a year <laughs> with doTERRA because I said, you need to have this in your store. They are the best essential oils. And finally, I let him know about our loyalty rewards program and how he could get so many freebies and perks. And so sold him on. The, and so he's got him here. We're, we're, we're in Spirit of Health. I'm just so grateful to be here. I'm grateful that he is falling in love with doTERRA just, just like you. And it's just such an honor. So my husband and I have been in doTERRA for about five years. Just some pictures of describing who I feel like I am. Uh, I love my family. God restored my husband and I's marriage. That's our testimony and story. I love Jesus. He rec- rescues me out of, the, out of the water. Dr. Axe is actually the one who introduced me to essential oils. Um, I, it's honestly one of the greatest gifts that the Lord ever gave me. Um, I didn't know him personally. It was one of those feelings that you get from the Holy Spirit where he tells you to do something. I happen to, he, I tell the story where he, he, if he watched this, he, would, he wouldn't care. Um, I remembered his email from working for Jordan Rubin at Beyond Organic here in Kansas City, actually. And he was, Dr. Axe was launching his own brand of oils, and I was going to become a mommy blogger, and um, I hadn't done it yet, but I was on the way to doing it, and I had to come up with a product that I wanted to sell. And I chose essential oils. The next day I saw he was about to launch his brand of oils. I remembered his email and I had this feeling in my gut that I needed to email him. And I was like, I remembered his email all of a sudden. And I said, okay. And I'm not the kind of person that hears that kind of stuff from God all the time. Uh, This was a rare thing. So I did. I emailed him and I said, hey, I'm a mommy blogger. I'm about to launch my website. I want to buy your oils wholesale and put them on my website. I said a couple of other things, I guess, to catch his attention. And he wrote me back and said, let's hop on the phone. I'm like screaming, running around my dorm. (laughs) We'd been huge fans for about three or four years. That's why my husband went to chiropractic school, was because of Dr. Axe. 
um, just from following him and watching him and learning from him. So anyway, uh, we hopped on the phone, got to know each other, and he had just happened to be gotten off the phone with Emily Wright, who's one of the owners of doTERRA. It was probably the day before. The timing was crazy. But he was stopping production of his own brand of oils to go with doTERRA. And that's my story. He asked me if I would build doTERRA with him. And I was like, let me pray about that. Yes. <laughs> Mostly I was scared out of my mind. I've, I've only ever been a stay-at-home mom. I have one year of college. Um, I didn't know what I was doing with my life. I had been a chef. I had done all these other things, but mostly I was a mom. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's the greatest calling in the world. But I knew that I was called to do something that would impact people, that would lead people. I didn't know what it was. And God just put it all together for me in Do Dr. Axe and, and doTERRA. And so that is honestly one of the greatest gifts that the Lord's ever given me. I got to be mentored by him and watch the way he did things and learn so much. So not only did I come into doTERRA, um, on my own. We have our own story. My son would always have ear infections. We got antibiotics way too often. I discovered that I could use oils and have instant relief. I mean, the kid's screaming, put the oil behind his ears and it would disappear. I was so shocked. And that's because of the purity of doTERRA. And so my story was that and coming in, coming in with Dr. Axe helped me understand the quality and purity of doTERRA that is unmatched anywhere else in the world is what you're going to get from doTERRA. And I'll explain a little bit why. But yeah, this is, we have some of our team members there. One of my favorite part is uh, you become family. Those that you share doTERRA with and those who, that begin to share with you and do it as a business like I do. My husband and I travel. We get to take our family with us. I mean, middle of the week, right? We've got our kids and my husband gets to come. That's what doTERRA has done for us. So I will get going. I already talked about Dr. X. So you're here to learn about winter wellness. A lot of times I feel like people like myself think, oh no, here it comes, cold and flu season. I am nervous, not really ready, you know, and the world goes out there and you know what they go get, right? Which now we know is terrible for you, that shot, right? Um, no offense towards them, but studies are coming out that, of how damaging a lot of these preventative measures that come from Western medicine can be to our bodies. So we're here to learn about natural solutions to prevent, but also to help us when we do have something come up during the winter. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So these are the top things I would say as a list. Um, I did not write this list. It was actually a doctor and, who had wrote on the, our doTERRA blog. By the way, Google doTERRA blog if you want to find all kinds of awesome information. But um, vitamin D, you can get some today before you leave from, uh, from Spirit of Health and their store. Make sure you've got your vitamin D. Amp up on colorful veggies. doTERRA On Guard, which we'll talk about daily. You can take that daily. You can be diffusing it, putting it on your feet. I'll explain more uh, why you'd want to do that in a little bit. Um, pro proper supplementation, making sure you're getting the nutrients and minerals that you need. Uh, wash your hands often, we all know that. doTERRA does have an amazing On Guard soap. It has On Guard in it. If you've never used that soap, it's life changing. I know it sounds really weird, but every other soap I've used, even natural ones, your hands start to get really dry. But when you use the On Guard soap, you don't have that problem. It doesn't have triclosan and all those nasty chemicals in it, and it naturally is fighting off those germs for up to 48 hours. I'll talk about that more in a minute too. I love On Guard. Um, so sleeping well, making sure you're sleeping well. We'll find out how essential oils can help with that in a minute. Um, making sure you're exercising and cleansing. The king and queen of cleansing over there. Relax and practice. Hig have you ever heard of Higi? I'm saying it wrong. Higi, Higi. Uh, so this is a European tradition. Look it up because it's really cool. But I've started to say it on purpose and do it on purpose. Um, I think is it, it's either Danish or Denmark, if anyone, does anyone know? Correct me if I'm wrong. But look it up. It's the art of relaxation in the winter. And anything that is a comfy blanket, putting on warm socks, sitting by the fire. Winter, I love... I'm always going to bring God back into my classes. <laughs> I love how God designed the seasons. And winter is the time that we're supposed to seclude and rest mm -hmm. and slow down and stop talking so fast, Jana. <laughs> like, <laughs> which I do. I get excited and I talk so fast. But winter is the time we're supposed to stay at home with our family, relax, take a bath, be in front of the fire. That's the practice of Higi. 
Hickey. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but look into that because that's fun. So it's something fun to walk away with today. But these are our top tips. Why do we get run down? Anybody want to? Stress. Stress. Lack of sleep. Lack of sleep. Not eating right. Not eating right. Dehydration. Dehydration. Mm -hmm. Lack of exercise. Lack of exercise. Toxins. Toxins. Mm -hmm. So many things, right? So I feel like our class today is going to be about, really it's about just refocusing, resetting, and being on purpose this winter to be proactive. And then how can essential oils help? Those are great responses that you guys gave. So. Change begins with lifestyle choices. Those of you who were here yesterday saw this slide already. Um, but we can see there's a pyramid of what's important. Eating right, exercise, um, resting, managing stress, everything you guys said. Toxic load, do you need to cleanse, um, being on purpose. How can essential oils help? So that's why you're here today, right? Right? Isn't it great when there's something that you can use as a tool? that empowers you. Uh, Vaughn was even saying that yesterday. We were talking about frankincense. And not, not, not everyone knows, but I try to say it as much as I can. Frankincense needs to be in your purse at all times, especially as a mom. Because, yeah? Is that, because when those kids fall down and bump their head on the cement, or my daughter just today, I, I accidentally slammed her, door on the re her head on the restaurant door. It started to swell up, and I'm like, pull out the frankincense, put it right on there, just straight. It's a very gentle oil. And she doesn't have a goose egg. That's what happens if you've seen, there's lots of before and after pictures, but frankincense is so powerful on a cellular level, anti-inflammatory. Um, you want to have that as your boo-boo oil, as your emergency oil. You can take it every single day. Um, but what I was going to say is, isn't it neat that there's something that you can have in your purse, in your backpack, in your man pack, that, um, that empowers you, right? Because a lot of times we feel like, oh my gosh, something just happened and I'm not ready. The thing I love about oils is that it makes you ready for anything, almost anything. We were in the emergency room last year with my daughter. I'm so grateful for Western medicine for what was going on with her very specific thing that was happening. However, what, 80% of the time, if we just had something we could quickly grab, oh my goodness, I'm having issues breathing right now. <sighs> I feel so much better. Hello? You know, oh my gosh, my daughter just fell down. Okay, no bump or bruise. Like, oh my goodness, you guys, that's what I love about these oils. And the reason why we get those results is because of the purity and the power and potency of doTERRA. Same results every time because of the way that they source their oils. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, this is a review for those of you who are here yesterday for my two classes. But I always have to cover why essential oils are effective. So if you look on the top right, that may even be on your little brochure as well. I think it might be. Um, the peppermint leaf is uh, magnified here. So the, see the little white sacks on there? Anybody know what those are? The white sack on the, on the, see that's magnified peppermint leaf. Anybody? Those are the little essential oil sacks. Have you ever walked through a garden and grabbed a leaf and squished it between your fingers and smelled it? You're smelling the essential oils from the plant. It's so easy. That's what essential oils are. They're not, you know, magical and mythical. And sometimes people get confused like it's, it's just a concentrated herb. It is that, but really what it is, is you've harnessed the power of that plant into a bottle. There's a method that's really important to follow when you distill and when you um, pull those plants and harvest them, but that is truly what it is. So what essential oils do, the scientific um, thing to say, oh, oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart. Natural aromatic compounds extracted and distilled from plants for health benefits. I like to say it's God's medicine. He, he said that it would be fruit from the trees for our food and leaves for medicine. It says that in the Bible. And we know that people have used herbs for thousands of years, herbs and plants and minerals. That's all essential oils are. And the way that they are harnessed um, and uh, for our benefit, our bodies recognize them. So when we put them into our natural bodies that were created and we take from that plant that was created, it recognizes itself, right, each other. So it's not a synthetic thing that we're putting in our bodies that's foreign. Our body just is in perfect harmony with, with taking that. Um, so the, what I love to point out about plants 
is that essential oils protect the plant from bugs, okay? And they also help the plant heal itself from within. We never say essential oils heal you. We don't say that. We say essential oils help the body heal itself by cleaning out the cells, eliminating toxins, boosting the immune system. They do so many different things chemically. So that's, that's our claim. I like to point out on a cellular level, um, this is a bacteria, the green, on the outside of the cell for the camera who's far away. And on the inside of the cell is a virus. Essential oils pass through the cell membrane. So that's an oily cell membrane. Antibiotics are not able to pass through a cell membrane. So when you take antibiotics, it's for bacteria. But the great part about essential oils is they actually can go into your body on a cellular level, even when there's it's a viral issue and help with eliminating that. So winter wellness, this is important to know the science behind why. Um, okay, peppermint, yes. I'm gonna pass this around. I do this in every class, those of you who were here yesterday. I want you to take one drop. And this, this is an orifice producer. You don't have to shake it, you don't have to tap it. It just comes right out, one drop, see that? And what I want you to do is rub your hands together, smell. You can just pass it back, yep, there you go. And then take the residue and rub it on the back of your neck. I'm gonna give you a aromatic and topical experience. For those of you who want to, put a drop under your tongue. Just hold it up, put it right under your tongue. You're welcome to do that. Yep, if you wanna freshen your breath and your respiratory system open up. Oh, I love that. Oh, she's passing it to you. <laughs> The best part, the best part about doing this is that I'm gonna wake all you guys up and you're gonna listen so good. Peppermint has been studied. Peppermint has been studied to increase recall for students who are studying. Um, it's, that's actually uh, documented studies. You can look those up, peppermint essential oil. It also increases awareness and energy. It's very energizing. What do you feel in your nasal passage when you do that? Opens up? Yeah, isn't that amazing? The reason why you have such a strong, amazing response is because our peppermint is so pure. Um, you're gonna start to even feel that in your throat. Rub it on the back of your neck. In about two to three minutes, you'll start to feel very cool on the back of your neck. Um, what situations would you be in where you feel like you would need to cool down your body? After a workout? Or, or during a workout? Overheated? Fever, yes. Headache, fever, yes. Or hot, my dad works outside. He'll put a rag in peppermint water and hold, put it on his uh, neck while he works. Amazing for men who work outside. I'll take it. Um, yep, peppermint, it was very cooling. So you can see how that, that's a natural solution that's helping you with tons of things, right? Okay, so peppermint. That one drop you just use is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. It's powerful right? So there's 250 drops in our normal bottles of oil, 250 drops. I always love to point out the last one here. People say, um, you know, we're worried about our budget when, when we're looking at healthcare, right? The thing about essential oils that is incredible, it's pennies per dose. You're saving so much money and it's a natural alternative because when you break down that cost, you're using only one to two drops at a time. You're getting an incredible value um, when you use that. So why would we choose doTERRA essential oils? Um, you may wonder why I would put that picture. This is one of our owners, Emily Wright. Um, I wish I could show you that video. We started sourcing our wintergreen from Nepal a couple years ago. And something I love about doTERRA is how they source their oils indigenously from all over the world. And shortly after we started sourcing from there, they had an earthquake. It was absolutely devastating. Just lives lost, homes lost. 
And these were the people that were now sourcing our wintergreen. So doTERRA actually sent them, um, I think it was a little over $500,000 to Nepal itself. For, and they, we, we've gone in, we've re rebuilt homes, earthquake-proof homes, rebuilt schools, um, got them water, dug water um, wells for them again. This picture was when they were being received by the people of Nepal. This woman was just beside herself with gratitude, and she was just loving on one of our owners. And I love this picture. It just symbolizes to me the, the quality of the leadership that comes from this company. They're all about integrity. They're all about purity. And so for me, that, that is huge. That's why I put that picture on there. I don't know if this is going to play. Nope. That's not going to play. Okay. I might skip it, though, because we're running a little bit behind. That is um, just showing us. Whoops. There we go. Okay. For those of you who were here yesterday, that was a different video than the sourcing video. That was on uh, CPTG. So CPTG means Certified Pure therapeutic grade. So if you look on our bottles, they're all certified pure therapeutic grade. Um, you'll also notice that we have supplement facts on our oil bottles. That should tell you a lot. Um, you are able to ingest doTERRA's essential oils because they are so pure. They're tested for um, no fillers, no, no pesticides, no fungicides. They will not sell it if it is. So you are able to take those internally. There's a lot of information about why doTERRA is the best. If you are interested in that and you need more facts about why, go to source2u.com. I think I actually have a slide right here. Um, this is a beautiful website. They've done an amazing job. I copy pasted all these photos and put them together. But if you go to source2u.com, I really want you to do that because it's, if you're going to start doTERRA as a lifestyle, it's so helpful for you to understand what they're doing with our growers, how we're sourcing responsibly, how we're distilling. I mean, our lemon citrus farmers right here, this man, they have been sourcing citrus essential oils for over 100 years. Their farms, their trees are so um, just, they've got the, the age there, but they've also got the experience. doTERRA goes after the people all over the world that know what they're doing, and they grow exclusively for doTERRA. Um, our scientists are, it's just amazing how incredible and what, how much money they've actually put into sourcing and testing. Um, we are now opening clinics all over the United States. Our first one's about to open in Nashville in January next month. Um, Utah, Phoenix, we've got several other ones. Um, one in Idaho. So look, look that up. Go to source2u.com if you want to know more about why doTERRA is incredible. These are a lot of the areas that we source from. When I first got started, I saw that picture and it just it meant a lot to me to see that they're sourcing from where God put that plant on the earth. Um, that, why do you think that would make a difference? I've been talking a lot. Why do you think that would make a difference to source from where God put the plant on the earth? Because it's not... Um, Pure as far. Yeah. It's the original. It's not the original. The yeah. Right? Have you ever tried to grow a plant on your porch that really shouldn't be growing in <laughs> your area or in your yard? right? It's not going to have, and then if you're growing a vegetable or a fruit, you may not have the mineral content. You may not have the nutrient value. Same thing. So we're looking for chemical constituents in essential oils. That's how you get the results. The limonene and the, I don't even know all the different things, sesquiterpenes and all these scientific words. We need those levels because they give us results in our bodies in different ways. So frankincense affects the brain because it has, uh, is it sesquiterpenes or monoterpenes? One of those. Um, you know, limonene does different things in the body, but you have to have specific levels. The cool thing I want to point out to you is uh, I also want you to take the challenge on sourcedyou.com and type in the SKU number on the bottle, and the actual test results from this bottle will pop up on the screen for you with the signature of the scientist with the signature of the scientists. So they actually take the time to write out, um, to, to put all that information in there. Okay, certified pure therapeutic grade, 100% uh, natural, no artificial ingredients, safe and potent. I've stuck on that for a long time. I love to point out safety. We don't put essential oils in our eyes or ears or any other mucous membranes necessarily. It's really just eyes and ears, nose. Um, sometimes I'm brave and I'll put a little in my nose if I need it but don't do eyes and ears. Uh, dilute with a carrier oil. That makes it more effective. I didn't know that for a long time. 
Skin sensitivity is really the only issue that people have and that's very rare, especially if you're diluting. That looks like I'm taking my coconut oil, I'm putting a little in my hand, I'm taking my cedar wood because I want to be calm and I'm putting it in my palm and rubbing it on the back of my neck. I just diluted that essential oil. Uh, follow all label directions. So some of our favorite winter remedies. You're welcome to take a little screenshot with your camera if you want. I just pulled a lot of these recipes. So I was going to talk about some of, some of this, these recipes that are helpful during the winter. So I love our cold and flu balm. I don't know if you can see down there. But you add the drops to a 10 milliliter roller bottle with fractionated coconut oil. And these are also online if you want to like look them up. But um, So that's frankincense tea tree oil, melaleuca, on guard, lemon, and oregano. Those are powerful fighter oils. I like to call them, yeah, that's a powerful blend right there. You can um, use this in a lot of different ways. I'm going to talk about a protocol in just a minute that is applied to the back, but this is one that you could just put these oils in a roller bottle. Um, you also could use those oils internally if you've got something going on, those specific oils. The reason why you're going to get different effects from different oils. So some are antiviral, some are antifungal, antibacterial. Um, they're boosting the immune system. They're all doing different things. Lemon is going in there purifying and cleansing. Oregano is that natural antibiotic. Um, they all do different things, but I love that combination of the cold and flu bomb. Frankincense is anti-inflammatory, but it's also great, <coughs> great when you're sick. So that's a good little recipe. It's eight drops of each in a 10 milliliter roller bottle. Fill the rest with coconut oil. This is another recipe, Tummy Tamer. Our Digest Zen is anything digestive. So you can put that on topically, wherever you're having the issue, um, under the tongue. Wild orange is also very good for the digestive system. So if you have wild orange, that's a fun, fun thing to note. So that's put some in your water. Make sure you use glass or a natural container, stainless steel, something like that. Um, but those two together, it says 20 drops in a 10 milliliter roller bottle. Just roll it, roll it on the tummy. Digestin by itself is also great. It's got about five different oils in it that are for the digestive system, but those are really good remedies to have on hand. So, two other ones I love is a sinus balm. Has anyone ever done that? Um, a cup of hot water. You can either, I'm not a fan of the microwave. We've never had one in our house. But you can you know, put the tea kettle on, get some hot water, get rid of your microwave, um, put some hot water on the, on the stove, but put it in your cup and then add these oils, peppermint, lemon, oregano, which is kind of shocking, and tea tree oil. Um, you, want you want to, so this is not for, you don't have, you could drink it, it wouldn't, it'd be fine, but this is more for inhaling. My favorite way to do it is to get one of those kitchen bowls, like a stainless steel bowl or maybe a porcelain bowl, and I will put the steaming water with those oils and get a towel and sit over it. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, peppermint, I mean, it's amazing. But that, because there's oregano in that, that's a little bit on the spicy side, so be careful with your eyes. Close your eyes, it says. If you're doing it with a kid, you know, use caution if you're doing it with children. Um, I have to throw that in there, but that is awesome. Awesome instant relief right there. Um, doTERRA cough syrup recipe, I love this. Local honey, um, lemon frankincense, on guard, and peppermint. You can make up a little batch of it, or you can just do it every time. It's obviously gonna be easier if you make up a little batch, but that is a really great recipe as well. You can also just, if you've got kiddos and you don't want to do a, a lot of the internal, the same oils you can use topically on the throat, on the chest, on the feet. Make sure you're diluting it because it makes it more effective, but it also helps with not being sensitive to the skin. So those two are amazing winter, winter recipes. Um, yep. This is the last one I, recipe I have is all things ears. I, I mentioned my son. Um, we're not putting it in the ear so you can read you're actually taking the oil with coconut oil and rubbing it back behind the ear on the mastoid bone. So you're rubbing down, and that's also gonna be a little bit of a lymph drainage thing. It's all about draining that ear. So it's very gentle, but you're doing one to two drops of each of those oils, rubbing back. I like one at a time, and I'll explain why in a minute. But you're rubbing down, and then you can take a cotton ball, put that one drop of basil is one of the best. 
basil on, just put it on the ear, maybe put a little medical tape or maybe someone's sleeping. That is amazing. This is life changing for a lot of moms, these oils for ears. Um, same thing with swimmer's ear. Yeah. Could you use that for swimmer's ear? Yes. Okay. Good. Yep. Pretty much the same. Um, for adults, if you've got, you know, some congestion happening, this ear technique, add peppermint to it as the last one and kind of do that little rub down and your sinuses will open up because it's all connected. That's melaleuca, basil, lavender. So some people will combine, put it in a roller bottle. I love layering one at a time. I find it's a little more effective to layer and I'll show you why in a second. Um, but if you're for ease of use when you're out and about, roller bottle, very effective. Those work great. That is the power. Melaleuca, basil, and lavender. And you can add peppermint at the end if you want. Um, that's a good one. So how can we stay healthy all year long? Are you laughing? On guard! Um, I actually, I'm gonna skip that. Drink enough water. So, well, do you go, mm? Yeah. Oh, you want me to go back? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, you see, you're the one that said the water, right? Right. Drinking enough water. There we go. Ugh, I didn't do that on purpose. Hang on. Drink plenty of water will keep you well hydrated. Proper hydration is essential to a strong immune system and will help you feel better as well. So we all need a reminder that we need to drink more water. Why, Why do you need to drink more water, really? Hydrated, but also flushing, right? Your body needs, and I need that reminder today. Jana, drink more water. Drink at least 64 ounces, add one to two drops of essential oil. Um, we talked about yesterday that they've done a lot of science um, and research on the citrus oils in your water and what that actually does for your body. It's really good for your liver, very, uh, very cleansing. So it's just a gentle kind of daily thing you can do. Add citrus oils to your water, grapefruit, lemon, any of those citrus. Uh, managing stress and sleep. This is a really awesome recipe for liquid sleep. Well, today, I'm gonna share with you how you can make all four of these for free, but one of them that you could choose to make is actually a sleep remedy. Vetiver, cedarwood, lavender. If you know anyone, do you know anyone who struggles with sleep? Yeah? A lot of people? Ascin doTERRA has changed a lot of lives with sleep, and I've got so many stories, even my own. I, I do this every single night. Um, I do my serenity or lavender on the bottom of my feet. I also love wild orange. Wild orange is the oil that helps you stay asleep longer. It's interesting, I don't know why. Um, serenity is helpful and lavender for falling asleep faster, but this recipe is wonderful. You can take a picture of that if you want and then I'm gonna have a recipe here. But sleeping up to eight hours, it's gonna be so good for your body. The same oils that are good for sleep are good for stress. So let's say you're in a stressful situation. The best way to use oils when you're stressed out is just take the oil. It could be your roller bottle. It could be your regular bottle. Put it on your pulse points. Um, but also you need to breathe it in. If you're stressed out, anything to do with emotions, you need to take the oil and breathe it in. And you probably need to do it for up to a minute as long as that is in your hands to take, give your lungs time to fill up with it, get, give your cells time to get it in there. Don't just do a, a one huff wonder. I mean, it will help you, but really sit there, really sit there for a minute. Take some time to really breathe. The reason why that works is because your smell is directly linked to your limbic system in your brain. And your limbic system is where you're feeling those emotions, but also there's memories in there. So it's all connected. So you're not just it's not just, oh, that smells good, so I feel relaxed. There's actually science behind the brain and how these essential oils are calming your nervous system. We talked about yesterday, Mary of Bethany putting lavender on the feet of Jesus. It was really for his nervous system. It's amazing. So really, what these oils do is they connect to your whole body and your nervous system to, to bring it uh, calm. If you have little kiddos, and they are wild. Like my daughter woke up in the middle of the night last night, overtired. I got my serenity in the middle of the night. She's crying her head off. And I put it on just the back of her neck. Within about 30 seconds, calm down. It's amazing. So little kiddos melting down. Get your oils in your purse for that reason. Serenity, serenity balance, really frankincense, lavender, any of those same calming oils. Yep. 
Yeah, you can use them individually or together. It's really just getting them on. My thing is get them on. Don't, don't feel like, oh no, I don't know how to do it. Just get them on yourself because that's when you're gonna see the results. Uh, Serenity has lavender, cedar wood, hoe wood, ylang ylang, marjoram, Roman chamomile, vetiver, uh, vanilla, and sandalwood. It smells amazing. So pretty much every, talk about, he, talk about the Higi practice. Every night, my husband makes fun of me, but every night I'm putting serenity in my bath. Um, with a little, if you take a bath with essential oils, make sure that you put it either in an, uh, a carrier oil, like olive oil or coconut, or Epsom salts. Um, if you ever, <laughs> I made this mistake when I first started. If you ever put oils like citrus in your bath, they'll kind of float on the top. You'll get in there and all of a sudden you'll feel this burning sensation on a certain part of your body. <laughs> That's because it was just floating on the top of the water. So you need to be able to get it into the water, emulsify. So put it in some Epsom salts. If you're like me, I'll take my oils in a beautiful glass apothecary jar from Hobby Lobby and I'll mix up, you know, my favorite blend of whatever oils and then put it in the apothecary jar and scoop it out when it's time to take a bath. Um, that's a, a great way to manage stress. So cleansing your body, why does this matter? Vaughn, you can't cheat and talk because you have all the information. <laughs> why does cleansing matter during the winter? So you can function. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as far as winter wellness goes, you know, resetting, that's an option. And that's something that we would highly encourage because your body's just going to function better if you get that gunk out of the way. It's all those highways and interstates. And I'm talking to Vaughn about some different cleanses and different things. Um, that's going to really help you as well. So if you, whoop, this is just an example of the air conditioning filter. It's all gunked up. It's not really going to work as good. It's just... It's that same concept over and over. We need to cleanse and flush our bodies. I'm going a little fast because we've gone a little over. Um, we've got a couple products that are awesome for cleansing specifically. If you're interested in that, I'll talk a little bit about it, but there is a cleanse set that you can buy. It's really, really gentle. It's not the run to the toilet type of cleanse. Um, and because of the way essential oils works on a cellular level, we've had incredible results with, um, and these ladies can share, they're in the middle of it right now. How do you feel? Great. Yes. It's, and like you said, it's easy. It's really mild. It's not like you're running. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you do know it's working. Yeah. I mean, you can feel it. I mean, a third day in, I've tried lots of cleanses and I've had to back out just because I can't. Yeah. I can't tolerate it. Yeah. This is a great place yeah. to start for people. It is. And it does everything. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's, I haven't been able, I'm actually about to, to do it myself because I've been um, breastfeeding and pregnant. I haven't done it myself. You can, but I haven't. So um, I'm about to finally, I'm excited to do it. A Zendocrine has helped me a lot. I have used Zendocrine, but this is part of our cleanse. The Zendocrine oil has uh, some of the citrus. It has cilantro in it. Let me see. There we go. Cilantro oil is naturally a heavy metal detoxer. So if you are in the middle of cleansing, these two products even alone help the liver um, to, to cleanse properly, but also um, decrease that di those die-off symptoms. And I was sharing that with, with Fawn earlier. doTERRA has done an amazing job on these two products specifically. It's for the endocrine system. They call it Zendocrine. Um, I, love, I love those. So if you're, if you're like, man, I just kind of need to kind of ungunk. That's something in the winter that we're gonna say, hey, check it out, check out the cleanse. Um, you can get the full cleanse, or there are just the two products that are, um, this has got melaleuca, oregano, it's all essential oils. This is all essential oils. And it's a 10 day thing that you do here, this portion of it. The PB Assist is probiotics. Um, so that's part, part of my spiel here. Okay, so wellness, keeping germs away, hand washing. We all, everybody knows this, right? Wash your hands as much as you can. Keep germs away. So I was going to show you guys. Um, there has been so many studies, but also students that do studies on on guard versus Clorox, Lysol, any of the antibacterial or antifungal, antiviral uh, sprays and cleaners out there. And you can see the petri dish right there. On guard not only cleans the surface better, it actually keeps it sanitized for up to 48 hours. It is so neat. If you want to look more into that, do a little Google search. Um, we've got, 
universities and hospitals studying our oils like crazy for the properties that they bring as far as antibacterial and antiviral. So sanitizing your surfaces is great. I want to point out how important that is. Um, I have a funny little story because I have petri dishes here. There was a man who enrolled with doTERRA and got his kit. He was diffusing his oils. He was diffusing on guard and he happened to be a scientist that did petri dish work at home with bacteria and he called the lady that he had purchased his oils from and he said, what is in that on guard? I can't get my bacteria to live in my petri dishes. Can you believe that? This is a friend of mine. Yeah, he was diffusing on guard. Wow. Yeah, I love that. I was like, that is so awesome. Great story. So there's so many studies. This, uh, I took some screenshots, but um, this is actually um, Johns Hopkins. Uh, I found, so the study, one of these is actually already released. I found it this morning. So the Journal of Infectious Diseases and Preventative Medicine. Uh, this is um, Nicole Parrish wrote this article. You can look it up. It's called Essential Oils and the Future of Antibiotics, New Weapons Against Emer Emerging Superbugs. New weapon, new old, right? God's medicine is the best. Um, essential oils might be the new antibiotics. So just, if you want to take a look into that, that's, it's powerful. Building immunity, why is that important? Um, our immune systems are the first line of defense against diseases and viruses. Uh, Dr. Hill is our chief medical officer at doTERRA. So some oils for prevention. You can not only use those oils when you've got something going on, you could be using those oils. When we, when we go out with my children, I'm constantly taking either Melaleuca or On Guard and putting a little on their hands. We've got a spray On Guard now, putting that on their hands. And that's, not only is it cleansing in the moment, but what else is it doing? It's fighting it off for, you know, a little while, while, while they're out there. So preventing, um, you can be taking those, those oils internally or topically and making sure that you're bumping up that immune system. So essential oils not only, like the plant, remember the plant, they're not only fighting off, um, they're not only healing from within and helping the body to heal, but they're fighting off the bugs, okay? This is one of my favorite um, protocols. So I was recently introduced to a protocol called Symphony of the Cells. When I heard about it, I said, oh, that's really complicated. I'm gonna have to go to one of those things and you know, learn how to do it. And my friend who um, is also in the company with me, she, I was saying, hey, we've got something going on. And she was like, just do the protocol. And I was like, but don't I need to learn how to do it? She said, no, just get the oils on yourself or on, you know, my son or whatever was happening. And so I am now a huge advocate of this. And I say, just do it. It's just getting the oils on the person's back. Um, so I took two pictures of people doing Facebook Lives of themselves. She's doing it on her little daughter. Um, she's doing it on her son. She's, a, she's on the floor. He's on a table. It doesn't matter where you are. There's nothing special or magical about it. It's just this protocol and it's all these oils. So when you're doing it on a child, I do about one to two drops on them of each oil. Like on my daughter, I'll do about, about one really on her with a lot of coconut oil. Um, but on an adult, you do about five to eight drops of each. And they're actually, so they're laying down. It's frankincense first. And you take the frankincense, you rub it on their neck, shoulders, and feet. It tells you what to do right here. You can take this picture, but it's also on, it's on Google. And you can buy the Symphony of the Cells book. And there's all these protocols in the book. Um, but the, all you have to do, just walk away from this remembering, get the oils on them, get the oils on them. Don't, don't overcomplicate it. So it's just frankincense on the spine, you're dropping it on there, you're rubbing it down, and then you're rubbing the residue on their feet. That's all you do over and over again with each oil. I don't know why it's more effective, because I'm not a scientist, but it is more effective to do this. Um, I have used oils for almost five years now, and this is now when someone texts me and they're like, oh my gosh, my son has blah, blah, blah. What should I use? What oils should I use? I just send in this picture. And I say, don't complicate it. Just get the oils on them. And do it, you know, two times a day. If they're really got something going on. And then back off and do it once a week. Once they're doing better and you just want to boost their immune system. There are several other protocols. Um, there's an inflammatory. There's a respiratory. There's a digestive. But I find that I just go back and forth between infectious and inflammatory. Like my neck went out. I couldn't lift my neck off the bed. I was screaming to my husband. It was so crazy. Um, just, I don't know why it went out. I need to go to the chiropractor, obviously. But I rolled over and he did the inflammatory one on me. And within about, you know, one to two hours, I was just back. My husband's back will go out.
pretty frequently, which is funny because he wants to be a chiropractor. That's kind of the way that works. Um, but we use the inflammatory protocol, and it even prevents it from going out at all. So I love these protocols. They, for me, they've made it easier to say, this is how you get the oils on. So that it's frankincense, oregano, thyme, on guard, aroma touch is one of our blends. It's got basil in it, so it's great for the adrenals. Um, lemongrass, which is a very cleansing, powerful, very energetic oil. Um, melaleuca, you can use melissa or black pepper and peppermint at the end. All you do is put the oils on and then lots of coconut oil, especially on a kid, you're diluting and it makes it more powerful. Um, decreases sensitivity, cover with a sheet or towel for five to 10 minutes afterwards, apply one to two times a day, make sure you're drinking lots of water. That's one of my favorite weapons during this time of year or any time. So make sure you remember that. Um, I would have gone long and we started late. So we already talked about a lot of these oils. This would be a review for most of you, so I'll touch on it briefly. Lemon, dries up mucus, soothes the sore throat, eases a cough, slows down runny or stuffy nose. Love lemon for those things. Peppermint, we use that. Tep temperature balance, bringing down a fever, cough, um, tension, head tension. Breathe is anything for respiratory support or if your husband snores, you can diffuse that. <laughs> Uh, digest thin is anything to do with the stomach, intestinal support. Um, if anyone's got acid buildup or um, reflux is our digest thin. Lavender, we talked about ears, anything to do with angry skin, needing soothing, kids needing soothing. Frankincense uh, for bumps and scrapes, supports cognition and energy levels. We talked about why you need, everybody needs frankincense. Okay, so with doTERRA this winter, you are in control. Are you officially overwhelmed? That was a lot of information. <laughs> that was a lot of recipes and a lot of information. Um, but I'll just say, when you, when you get started, get a book. Make it simple. Where did I put, oh, here's my books. So those of you who are here, I always say this in all my classes. Once you get started, it doesn't have to be complicated. You'll get your oils and you'll say, how do I use these again? Make sure you get a good book. This is my favorite. It's on Amazon, Essentials of the Earth. Um, and the reason I like it is you can actually turn to cough and it says, okay, I'm going to use, here's the different oils I can use. I can either put it topically or I can take it internally. It really explains it. So I love, love having books. Um, and you need to become uh, a knowledgeable oil user. We have a Facebook community, um, because Vaughn is on my team in doTERRA. We have a really fun Facebook community for customers where they ask each other questions, mostly moms that are like, my son has this, what do I do? Um, I'm going to go to the search bar in the Facebook group and look up cough. What are some recipes other people have used? So we do that a lot. We talk on there and there's a lot of good education that's free to you um, once you get started. So we, we like to offer that. Okay, the way doTERRA works is um, it's a lot like Amazon or Costco or Sam's. Anybody have one of those? Yeah, 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 yeah. right? And you, Costco doesn't say, hey, you better be in here every month purchasing, right? They don't do that. They just say, hey, you know, come whenever you want, get whatever you want. That's how doTERRA is. It's $35. You get 25% off anytime you want to log on there and purchase. Um, if you want to purchase more regularly, Vaughn can tell you, um, they give you a lot of freebies. They reward your loyalty. They're one of the most generous companies I've ever encountered. Um, they give you so much back. So you can earn up to 30%. Does your grocery store give you 30% back on every purchase? <laughs> no, but doTERRA does. They give you 30% back on each purchase. So if you, once you get started, if you want to look into that loyalty rewards program, it's amazing. We have kits. If you have never started with oils, the way that it works, you can get a kit. All of them come with the oils we talked about today. They are the basic starter kits that help you. So some of my favorites I'll point out, I love the home essentials kit. It comes with all the foundational oils we talked about, plus a free diffuser. And that's the large size bottles. I love that one. There is a smaller kit. It's called the Family Essentials. The oils are this size. It's one third of the size. But if you times this kit times three, because it's this is three times the size. I like to point this out because I'm a budget mom. I used to coupon and I can't, I, you have to watch your budget. It's important. It's Christmas time, right? You want to take care of your family, but you want to watch your dollars. If you multiplied this times three and added a diffuser, it's over $500.
So this value is, to is huge. You get three times the amount of oil plus the free diffuser plus a little bit of an extra discount. So this is a good one if that's your budget, but this is a better value. I also love the Natural Solutions Kit. It comes with the wooden carrying box and all the other amazing products we talked about today, all of our On Guard line. Um, and the way that you get, whoop, there we go. The way you get started is on the back of your little brochure there, you can just, if you're saying, okay, I know what I want. I want, you know, frankincense, lemon, lavender. Maybe I do want to look at one of those kits. They're on the, on the brochure. You can decide which one is the best for you. My favorite thing is to walk around and help you based on your budget. So I also want to help you with your questions. So maybe you've got, you know, your son or your daughter, your aunt or uncle with health concern questions. Let's look at the books. Let's see what you really need because it's not for me about you coming in and getting a kit. This is about a lifestyle change that's, it's huge. So you not only um, can get that kit, I want you to get the best price, um, but you could maybe start getting things monthly. So let's break down what you need um, based on your needs and your budget. And yeah, so the way that you do it is I have a form that you can fill out if you wanna get your kit today that goes directly under Vaughn. So it's not competing with um, his oils that are for sale out there today. You'll get his price. Um, plus all the perks and freebies. And so it is a, just a great value to have your own have your own account. So that's the way that works. I'm gonna walk around and see if you guys have any questions. You can get started today. You're welcome to take the brochure with you. It tells you how to get started at home or on your phone if you wanna do that. So thank you for watching. Do you wanna share about